Hey, uh, so in front of us, we've got a database uh, loaded in PHP my admin. So it's a, this is hosted somewhere in the cloud on a server and it's just a database. It's like Microsoft Access or Oracle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go jump into a text editor, write some SQL, and then I'll show you the database that we've got open and we'll go from there. So the database has been given a name. So just a database name, that's all it is, is just a name for the database. And in that database, there is four tables. We've got students, courses, classes, and students in the class. So the students database contains all the information about the students, their name, their gender, um, and the date of birth, for example. The courses are the course title, what courses are available, so that could be maths, English. In this example, they're all company names. So you're gonna be learning about a company. The classes are the date and time that that class is happening, and the level, well, what level the students are going to be at and what teachers there is. And then the students in classes is what student is going to which class. Okay, so let's jump into the database and have a look at some of the data. So in, we'll start with the first one, students. It's a little bit slow because there's lots and lots of data running in here. This one's got 60 rows of data. We've got the first name, the last name, the gender, the address of the student and the postcode. It is in America, all this data, so don't worry about that, it's really not important. Then we've got the uh, courses, just the course ID and the course name. Obviously your course ID will be your primary key. It's auto-incremented, it's not labeled up here, but it, it is in the background. You got your classes, this is your course ID and the class. So what course and what class? And then the students in the class is just what student is in which class, really, really simple. So. SQL is really, really simple to understand. It's uh, basically English, as, English as, as close to a programming language as you can, that English can get. So if we do, for example, select all, so the star means all, the asterisk means all, select all from, usually you'd uh, use the backwards apostrophes, whatever they're called, for uh, breaking out into column names, but it's not important um, unless there's spaces where you can always do brackets, but it's best practice to use the backwards apostrophes. So if we do select all from students, for example, uh, but it's called a different name, it's called example students. So if we go into the SQL tab up here and go uh, select all from students, uh, example students, example underscore students, and click go. it will give us every single result in the student table. Likewise, if we change that name from select all from, for example, uh, example courses, it will change the table and read out that table. As you can see, it's returned 10 results. Now, we can do more manipulation of the data. If we want to select one column, for example, we can do that. So if we do select all from, uh, example students where um so we'll do select we won't select or we'll just select first name and it will only return the first name but it will return all the results which you might not want to do for example if you're in the example students uh name and you only want to find people with a name uh for example, uh, it's an angel, that's a lovely name. Uh, if we do, we can do select all from example students where, and then we use the where clause to do where uh, first name equals angel. Now, that is really useful if you're trying to find a particular record, for example, trying to find a correlating record to a uh, a specific ID, for example, so ID number seven, who is number ID seven, you can look it up and then cross that with your foreign keys later on that in a bit. But first, let's let's look at, let's look at uh, a couple more operators. For example, I want to select all where first name is going to be like, and anywhere in the name, so we use a percentage percentage, wrap it in apostrophes, and we put, for example, N. It will find anywhere 
any name, any first name with the letter N in it. So it could be the beginning, the middle, or the end of the name. If it's got the letter N in, it's going to return it. And as you can see, these are all the ends in. So there are 24 results with the letter N somewhere in the first name. It could be at the end, like Aaron. It could be, is there any at the beginning? No, there's not, but it would, it would return at the beginning or in the middle. Um, so if we wanted to find people on Carsten's drive, for example, we could go into the SQL and we could do where address is like, so it's like this, it's not exactly this, but it's like it. So, and then we're going to put the percent wrap that Carsten's in percentage, run that. And as you can see, it will return that really easy to use. Um, so now let's do a, a multi-table search. So we're going to find, we'll do it across courses and classes. So if we go into classes, for example, we know that uh, Nell is teaching the colour teal group course five, but we don't know what that course is. So what we can do is we can run an SQL statement. We can say, select all from um, example classes and also we're going to look in example courses where and then we want to find the foreign key which is identical across two tables so that is going to be the course id where uh, example courses dot course id is the same as example classes dot course ID. If we run that, it will then join the table. Ooh, let's have a look and see where it is. Unknown courses, example courses, dot course ID. So let's open this in another tab, have a look, and it might be a name something else, it might be a spelling mistake, for example. Uh, course ID, example courses, course ID. Let's have a look. Boom, boom, boom. That one should work. Uh, select. Awesome. Okay, that the column name, for example, see if that works. And as you can see, it will then return the course identifier along with the course uh, name. Now, let's edit this. Uh, let's edit this and sort and let's order it. So we can actually order the data. We can sort the data as it comes out. We can order it by, uh, for example, um, example courses. Dot, and that would be the dot is is joining the, the table name to the column name and we'll do it course name for example because it's ordered by co example courses dot course name and we'll order it ascending so what this is going to do is going to go into the courses in the classes table find the matching records pull them out and order it by the course name in, a, in an ascending order in alphabetically ascending order and when we press go as you can see the course name will all be and it pulls out all the courses in alphabetical order. Anyway, that's my snippet for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you around soon.